Okay, let's continue on. So, um, the first part will be a delivery zone. And we are going to elongate this a bit. I want to exactly to have two trains um, possible to wait in there. Uh, so let's pick all of this up. We don't need it. Oh, there is a wall in my design because there's a wall over here. Where did you come from? Also, still some walls over here. Look at this. Man, the game is running so slow. And the fun part about this, uh, once I activate, I deactivate the stream, the game runs at 60 FPS. <laughs> it's super weird. Uh, all this calculating is, all this rendering is just uh, keeping my machine at bay, which is kind of weird. Also, I'm just running past all these trains so that we can get a better taxi stand. Then we're going to do the rest by taxi. I should be fed over here. Yeah, you. Where am I? There. Pick me up. And then drive me over here. There we are. So yeah, I do hope that I have a better stream streaming setup for you in the future, but sadly, uh, not today. Maybe I'll get it work, uh, working later in the day, or later in the night. I will be working at it uh, the rest of the night. Uh, but yeah. Also, uh, since we learned last time, uh, if you make a depot, uh, width is important, not height, width. Width is very important. So we're making a super wide depot over here. And also, this whole area will be its own uh, section. Thank you. Oh, ow! <laughs> that was stupid. Good. Uh, we may have to place these by hand for now. There you go. So, um, let's, for example, say we're gonna optimize it from over here. And this would allow us for another train to be there. This goes back. Whew, that's a large piece of chunk already. So it's going to look something like this. Now, first of all, we need an input. Uh, let's take you. Rotate it around. Place it here. Then we have to think about how much we are going to build. Um, and it all comes down to how fast flotation and well, what's the other step again? Leaching, yes. Each of these has a crafting speed of basically one item per second. The best leaching plant all the way up to flotation cell 3 and leaching plant 3 has a crafting speed of 1.5. So one of these can make 1.5 items per second. If we want to fill out a whole yellow belt, we will need 50, uh, 10 of these. So 10, 20 at least. And I'm thinking more about 40. Why 40? Because our ratio is... 1 to 4 to 4 to 2, so that would be 10 to 40 to 40 to 20. So we will need a 10 crusher setup, at least a 10 crusher setup. 
Now, we're also going to make it a bit crooked. Why crooked? Because... Where are they? Over here. These guys. These special ore uh, refiners or ore sorters which use catalysts to make specific ores do need some of the preprocessor processors. These, for example, need crushed stuff. These need chunks. And these here need crystals. And there is one final one that actually needs to purified stuff. So we are going to make it a bit skewed. Or we're just gonna make so much. Well, let's see. If we're gonna make it a bit skewed, we would have to. Mm hmm. Also, this is a four yellow belt setup. Mm hmm. Well, we can make it a bit skewed by means of production modules. No, these all scale up in the same rates. That also will don't won't work. That's kind of stupid. I could just make a few more of the crushers, a few more of the flotation cells, and a few more of the leeching plants to get where we want. I don't think we will use this tungsten recipe ore. At least not yet. Because tungsten, we do get tungsten out of rhubarb and juvolite. Also, is there a, wait? Isn't there a chrome ore? No, there isn't. Look at this. All shiny and chrome, and there is no chrome ore recipe. How oh, very weird. We can make ingots out of it, and that was it. So, where do we get chrome from? Our only source of chrome would be ferrous crystal sorting. That's good to know. Kind of feels that it's missing over here, but then again, tungsten isn't made in any one of these. So um, let's go with the 10, 40, 40, 20 approach. Remember, uh, we need 10, 40, 40, 20 for six of them, so it will be 60 crushers, uh, 240 flotation cells, 240 uh, <laughs> leaching plants, and 120 of these purifiers. I think that should be fine. So, 10 crushes. Crushes. Also, let's get rid of these. You can go. There you go. Crushing. Uh, input is 2 per second. Um, our highest crushing speed is crafting speed 3. So, 6 per second go in and 9 per second come out. Uh, that's pretty much a yellow belt already. Let's just copy paste one over. There's one. So, six go in, nine come out. Um, we could do this with loaders. If we do it with loaders, it will look like something like this. Mm, I don't like this. We also should make use of all of this space over here, so... Three, four, five... And it's one, two, three. So it would look like something like this. Another option that we also have, which I've always been thinking about is... Now we do not want to do an integrated design. We could also just uh, place one of these, then four of the uh, flotation cells, then four of the literary plants, followed by two of these. Now, actually, then we would have multiple stations at the sides. Now that would that would cause long input belts. That's also not a good idea. So it would look something like this. This is a bit disappointing, and it doesn't look any 
elegantly at all. We could make it look a little bit different. How about we do something like this? This is a fun design. So you go in, 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 out, 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 out. And then you have something like a inline factory. And then you place two of them next to each other. Like this. So you mush it up, split it up, mush it down, merge it back up, and then put it back in. That could be something. We have also have to think a little bit about our width. Let's see. Mm. What was it? Six in, nine out. So this is 45 out. That's blue belt and 45 out. That's also blue belt and in goes red belt. Uh, that's an idea that I like more. Because that sounds like the good kind of colors. So then it would be something like this, 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 this. And in the beginning, it will be red. So 30 minus 6 is 24. 18, 12, 6. And out goes the same. So this is 9, this is another 9, so this is 18, uh, this is 27, this is 36, and this is 45. Something like this. And then we could just move it up by 2. Move it down by two. Then we would have outputs. One, two. Uh, these would be balanced. This will look something like this. Uh, this will also all be red. There you go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I do not really like this. I don't know. This looks weird. Hey, Sinter, thank you for the subscription. So, what's your favorite moment in Factory game? For example, getting robots, getting trains, etc. Well, my favorite moment is... Let's see, probably getting robots, especially construction robots, because they do help you out so much. Because placing stuff by yourself and having to adjust stuff yourself is just really annoying. So now, for example, I can just make a design which I will copy over six times. I just have to figure out how I will make this look beautiful. And I like these parts. These parts are cool. This looks hideous. It would look a bit better if it were something like this. But that would be space inefficient. Well, the um, makers of Factorio are thinking about uh, adding, uh, giving access to the robots more early, uh, maybe even as part of your crashed spacecraft, because you do have to admit it looks a bit weird that this one guy is just walking around and having like all these buildings in his pocket and just placing them down like that. 
and focusing more on a robot-driven development. This is also, also the reason why I really loved Industrial Revolution, because also there you start out with more uh, robots earlier, even though they really suck. <laughs> um... Let's see, we could do this a bit differently, but then it would look even weirder. I think it has to be like this. We could slim it up a bit. Oh, out save. I like the progression from Industrial Revolution as well. I think it's okay that they suck. <laughs> uh, they want you to want more. Yes. Like I said, um, about, I think at the beginning of the week, uh, I watched uh, my uh, the final episode of Industrial Revolution as it came out on YouTube. And I was pretty amazed how smooth it was going and how absolutely unsmooth this is going. <laughs> And all, especially all the robots, they were just zooming around, which is pretty fun. So let's see, there will be a balancer over here, then there will be a... Oop, place you there. Now we need one of these. And that's also the reason why I'm thinking about, after I'm done with this, I will be doing a vanilla playthrough just to get that uh, vanilla feeling again. Uh, but that's still open. Uh, maybe I will do something completely different. I don't know yet. But once um, we finish up with the Factorio, there will be a short Factorio break just to recharge my uh, Factorio batteries. <laughs> uh, but it will be here to stay for quite a while because I'm enjoying this game far too much. Now, oh, this looks like a design. So then you go this way, you follow up. Oh, that's wrong. Ah, this is nice and tight. Do I have, yes I do. Let's just use one of these for now. And then you go in. You go over. Oop. I can't paint for shit. And in you go. That should be fine. Now we just need to power it. Um and to rubble port it. Hmm. Well, powering this is pretty easy. Lighting it up is also a task we have to do. Maybe one here, one here. And we will be using, let's pick them up. They should be made, oh, they are somewhere over here, aren't they? We are oh, all the way over here. Oh. Not so far. This revolution was kept as my current favorite combo and just starting to run with LTN added, but I have loved what you are doing with Bobs and Angels. I'll probably give that a try once I'm fully comfortable with LTN, yes. <laughs> Do keep in mind, this was being a project of an extraordinary size. We're already 215 hours in, which is way too much. Uh, it's also a Christmas project. Uh, but yeah, Crestorio is also on my things, so, uh, on my list of things what I'm wanting to do. Also, Pie mods, even though it seems to be a hard mod pack. I never played it, and I do want to play it. Um, then, what's else on there? And who knows what's going down the border. There's this new mod maker, it's called Shaul, I think. Um, he's been around for a while and he's pumping out a ton of mods so let's see what he can produce in the future uh he was on my list as i was preparing this playthrough but then i just went with the things i knew so now we have some of these also after i seen the end of my uh industrial revolution factory First of all, it was small. It was really, really small. Uh, it was like maybe 
maybe this size <laughs> and not this size <laughs> which is super weird and yeah uh once you get comfortable with ltn it is a super mod to have you just have to uh think about a few things oh i'm also walking you completely the wrong way uh, you just have to uh keep uh, some pointers in mind do use a track distance of two or four spaces in between you will have less problems with intersections and you can build better intersections also uh you have to be uh on your uh, best signal game because trains will be stuck all the time and also make deep stations or well, at least two or three stations can park and then you will be gone yeah and going big is part of the game and it's just so much more fun uh also like i said ltn depots the, the wider they are the better they are don't build deep depots like i did over here because when the train stands in the depot every once in a while i think it's like every minute or so the ltn system will trigger or at least at, at my playthrough it's a minute maybe it's faster in a not so dense playthrough but every once in a while the ltn system will trigger jobs for everyone and as long as there aren't any jobs the trains will be waiting in the depot and the more trains you have to be waiting in parallel the more jobs can be broadcasted to those trains um which will keep your system going faster that was also probably we were having here over with the refinery because i was always sitting there why is plastic here over here always empty uh because well um <laughs> there were only four jobs going out at the while and they're like i think a couple well not a hundred jobs but maybe 50 jobs in here at all times and also yeah this congestion thingy but this congestion thingy will probably be relieved once i build this yeah this looks like a plan how far does this go it hits almost everyone let's place also one here that will hit everyone and then let's place one here that'll be fine now do place a robot board somewhere like here and let's make the other side and one more there this way and this way that looks fine uh we have to place a few of these tracks just so that i can place you better so let's see um this will be an entry signal entry signal entry entry combination signal yes you're going out these won't have any there will be a signal over here a signal over here no signals here uh one here will there be one here yes there can be one here and a entry signal over here now do i have these not really but we can place one here and one here then we will have to place uh where are my ltns over here one over here one over here uh do i have the oh i do have these so then hook this up hook this up let's move you around a bit so you are a requester so negate the ltn read from the train put it in you negate the train and read from the ltn put it in signal everything everything negate copy paste so these are connected these are connected you are connected you are connected uh you should be a requester your network id will be four 
No, actually, it's two. Sorry. Uh, 6,000. Disable your warnings. Very good. And the same over here. Network will be two. You provide batches of 6,000. And I think that'll be it. Look at this. So all of these can go. Then we're going to make a blueprint. Well, maybe not that big. Uh, yes, you can stay. No, you can. You should go. <laughs> and I do know that these are the wrong way, but that should be fine. And then it's going to be chain signal on the way. Okay. Yeah, we can make these a little bit wider. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. How many? Is oh wait. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be six. So one, two, three. There you go. Let's build all the way over here. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Good. Now we do need to connect all of this through and then loop this way. And question are these interconnected? No. But if we play some big power poles, they will. However, I'm thinking about... Yes, this looks fine. Let's just copy this over. So this will be the interconnecting power supply. Oh. Oh, don't remove this one. This is an important connection. <laughs> We should maybe make a redundant connection over here. There you go. So this also tells us how far we can go with the depot. And as we can see, we can go very far. I should also make a blueprint out of you. Because we need more depots. Well, this one's in the way. So, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246. And you may can already guess how big the scale is going to be. It's going to be big. <laughs> we are going all out on this. And maybe the robots will finish this up at some point. Uh, there well, let's take a quick look at our, our factory. We're still sitting on a ton of these. We're sitting on way too much of these. So the nuclear power plant will be going swimmingly. What's going on over here? Wait, there is a signal missing over here. That's what's going on over here. There are... <laughs> Who built this? Okay, you go there. You go away. Nope. You go away. You can replace them with this. Is there? No, there isn't. There you go. And uh, maybe let's place these ourselves in hopes that we can connect up the rubber port. Uh, let's see. This is going to be here. Yep. 
And speaking of connecting up the RoboPort, we should probably make some kind of power line or RoboPort line down this side. And we do have a template for this. Let's take you. So if you are placed over there, then this should connect up. And we're just going to go down like this. Good. Then place one of these in the middle. That should be fine. Ah, I'm super lazy, I know. <laughs> but it works. Good, 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 good. And yeah, there's yeah, so much nature here. This all has to go. Oh, there is a error in this template. We need... No, actually there isn't. Oh, actually we don't even need these power poles. Ah, but this breaks. Yeah, I see. That should be fine. So we need this to be connected. Then lamp there, lamp there, lamp there, lamp there, lamp there. Um, also, these are all the wrong color. <laughs> always shows when you make a template, there's always something missing. Always. I also just walked past these without fixing them up. There you go. There you go. Hook this one up. And then here, there, there, here, there. And at some point they should connect up with power. I can just place it myself. Look at that. Um, no, they won't, because this connection isn't far enough. How weird. Let's just nudge you a bit. Good. Also, why are you not powered? Because you're missing. We can also place you. Uh, this should help our robots build the rest. Then upgrades to red. These two. These two. Let's open up the map to make it faster. These two. These two. And upgrades to blue. There you go. Now I do want to put a maximum over here. Nope. So let's just push this like down here, just as a border guard. We do not want to go further than this. Good. Ah, the robots will take a while for this to be building. Um, for this to be built. Then, how is oil doing? It seems to be doing better. Oh, save. Oh, speaking of save. 
Yeah, it's time for a quick break. So, see you around.